Hey everybody, it's Tom Abbott with MyAtlantaMojo.com bringing you the Doraville Real Estate Market Report for October 2017. Uh, before I start that report, just kind of give you a little uh, piece of information as to why I'm at a building like this when I'm giving you a residential real estate report. This is actually the old Kmart building located on Beaufort Highway in Doraville. Uh, this area is slated, hopefully, to become a redeveloped area called Nexus with apartments, uh, a senior 55 plus living component, retail, and then a uh, somewhat limited service, uh, probably about a 200 key room hotel, maybe a Holiday Inn Express type of thing or something with some meeting space and a restaurant. Uh, so we're hopeful that's gonna be coming here. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. But anyway, I wanted to get you a update on the Doraville Real Estate Market Report. Also a disclaimer I need to make about this particular report. When I pulled this, I literally did it by the city of Doraville or the word Doraville in the MLS. So that actually pulls areas that are not in the actual city limits of Doraville. Like it'll pull homes over in Northcrest, which is north of I, north of uh, 285, and to the um, right if you're going north on 85. So I guess that would be east of 85. So just a couple a couple of disclaimers there for you. But let's get into the numbers real quick. For single-family homes in Doraville, there were 18 active listings in October. They ranged from $370,000 for a home on Eagle Rock Drive in Northcrest to a low of $159,000 on Westwood Drive, which is also outside the perimeter and not in the actual city limits of Doraville. Pending under contract, pending due diligence, pending a kickout clause, anything like that. We had 10 homes under contract ranging from $339,000 on Menlo Drive to low of $170,000 on Hickory Wood Lane, which is in a subdivision in the uh, uh, Doraville area called Winters Chapel Hill. There were eight homes that sold ranging from $354,000 over in the Northcrest area to the low of $211,000 in Oak Cliff, which is actually in the city limits of Doraville. Uh, we're also, as you can tell, close to the uh, Peace Treaty Cab Airport in Chambly in this area as a jet just flies over our head. Give you an update on the uh, days of market days on market for Doraville. The high was 126, the low was two, and the average was 53 days. Sorry for a little weaving there. Uh, just wanted to give you an update. Um, I also had a listing in the Northwoods area of Doraville. We sold that for a full price of $250,000 after being on the market for just 34 days. Condos and townhomes, you don't have a lot of those again in this particular area in Doraville. Um, but we did have eight active homes on the market in October, ranging from $550,000 for a townhome at Chestnut Place to a low of $76,000 for Aspen Woods, which is also a townhome. Um, pending or under contract, we had a uh, high, high price point of $281,150, which is the Copper Leaf at Global Forum. And the low price point was also Copper Leaf at Global, For Global Forum at $231,488. Quick little side note about that community. They're listing it as being in Doraville when it's actually inside the city limits of Peachtree Corners. And the reason they're doing that is because it's on the very bottom point of Peachtree Corners and Peachtree Corners most people know is way outside or outside the perimeter out 85 and out Peachtree Industrial so they're trying to capitalize on being in the Doraville Doraville name to be closer to the Marta station and whatnot um, then for sold in October in the Doraville area we had seven sales they ranged from a high of $180,000 at Ashland Point which is again those townhomes to a low of $105,000 at Embry Crossing Days on the market, the high was 52, the low was two, and the average was 15. So that kind of gives you an update on the Doraville market. Um, just, you know, there's some new construction coming in this area. In fact, we've got a really neat community coming up at Peachtree Industrial and 285 by Century Communities called Carver Hills. So we will have, uh, you know, sometime next year start to get some new inventory to be able to see some different numbers in the area. But if you have any questions about the Doraville area and the real estate market here, again, remember, you know, these are just general numbers and a market snapshot at a particular point in the market. If I can help you with any information about the area, about pricing your home and putting your home on the market, why don't you give me a call? My number is 770-713-1505. Again, it's Tom Abbott with MyAtlantaMojo.com at Palmer House Properties and my number is 770-713-1505. Thanks. We'll talk to you all soon.